Uttar Pradesh Health Minister Siddharth Nath Singh on Wednesday suspended Unao Chief Medical Officer Rajinder Prasad after doctors at the Community Health Centre of Nawab Ganj conducted eye operation of 32 patients under torchlight on Monday, where a medical camp for free cataract surgery was organised by the NGO Jaya Amba Seva Samiti. Unao Chief Development Officer has been instructed to conduct an inquiry and submit a detailed report within three days. Without alternate agreements for power backup, the doctor risks the eyesight of patients by performing 32 surgeries under the light of torches. The air quality in the national capital still lags disrupting normal life. It is reported that 30 trains were delayed, 6 rescheduled and 18 trains cancelled on Wednesday morning due to thick layer of fog. The meteorological department has predicted degrading condition of air quality in the capital and the vicinity around. As per the Central Pollution Control Board, despite authorities in Delhi struggling to improve the air quality, the index has dropped down to severe or even emergency levels. Kerala State Prison Department has made it mandatory for prison inmates to enroll for Aadhaar. Jail DGP R. Shrilekha stated that this initiative was envisaged to help prisoners get enrolled for Aadhaar like every other citizen. The program has already been launched in various prisons and as many as 27 prisoners have enrolled for Aadhaar at the central prison of Pujapura last week. As per the request of jail authorities, a team of officials of the state-run Akshaya Centre would visit each prison with biometric fingerprint scanner, camera and other necessary systems to enroll the inmates under Aadhaar. The statistics of State Agriculture Department recorded as many as 3,515 suicides among M farmers between 2013 and 2017, out of which 2,525 were due to drought and farm failures. Agriculture Director B. Y. Srinivas stated that sugarcane growers topped the list of suicides, followed by cotton and paddock cultivators. He also reported that the government has directed banks not to force farmers or to repay their dues and to convert their short and medium term crop loans into long term loans with waiver of interest. Agriculture officer Kumar Swami said the government has registered cases against exorbitant private money lenders, compensation hiked from rupees 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees to families of farmers who committed suicide. The Central Bureau of Investigation has denied issuing a summon to the Director General of Police of West Bengal in connection with the Sarda Chit Fund scam. CBI spokesperson Abhishek Dayal categorically denied the reports that the West Bengal DGP was summoned by the agency in connection with the multi crore Chit Fund scam. He clarified that no notice or summon for appearance was issued to West Bengal DJP Surajit Kar Purakshita. According to media report, the Central Probe Agency has issued a notice to Kar Purka Yashta asking him to appear before it within a week.